sure going to have a nice herd this year, Jim. Yeah, well, you won't be so enthusiastic when we bring them in in the spring for currying. I love to work around horses, and you know it. Boy, I can't wait till school's out and summer vacation begins. Oh, it's smoke. Speaking of school, you better get in and get your breakfast. You're going to be late. Be back in a jiffy, Fury. Beat you to the house, Jim, okay? Okay, go. Here you are, Brad. This will make your hair stand up and beg to be cold. Huh? Oh, I won! Oh, oh, look like a dead heat to me. Teddy, nothing. I beat you. And I'll beat you to breakfast, too. Oh, wait till I catch my breath. What's all the ruckus? It sounds like a tornado coming to roost. It's just Jim and Joey horsing around. <laughs> hey, come here. Now, ready? Yeah. Set. Go! Hello, Brad. Joey, Jim. Yes, look at you. You look like a perch just been pulled out of a pond. Oh, but Joey and I raced in from the corral. <laughs> Judging from the grin on his face, he probably took you. I did. <laughs> well, what brings you around here, Brad? Am I behind on my note payments? No, I'm afraid I can't accuse you of that, Jim. I just wish that all our customers were as prompt as you are. No, I'm not here on business. What I want to talk to you about is another matter, a civic matter. Oh, now, don't tell me you want me to play second trumpet in the Rotary Club Orchestra again. <laughs> <laughs> Hardly. Once was enough. <laughs> Jim, we want you to be chairman of the annual community chess drive. Boy! Well, being chairman of the community chess drive is quite an honor, but why me? Because we feel that you're the one man who can help us beat Capital City this year. Capital City's a lot bigger than we are. Just the same, we're out to beat them. I've already bet their mayor five bucks that we would. What do you say? Well, let's see if we can't win you five bucks. Thank you, Jim. I knew you'd accept. Well, thank you, Brad. It's quite an honor for me. And anything I can do, you give me a call at the bank. I sure will. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Farley. Goodbye, Joey. Seeing you all soon. Gosh, Jim. Be made chairman of the community chest. What's the first thing you're going to do? Have some breakfast? I'm starved. Breakfast coming right up, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> Boy, I'm sure proud of Jim being made chairman of the community chess drive. What's that mean? Don't you know what the community chest is? No, I don't even know what a chairman is. Well, the chairman's the head of something. Like the president of the United States? Well, yeah, only instead of being a head of a country, he's the head of the community chess drive. I still don't know what you're talking about. I'll bet you don't either. I do so. I know what the community chest is and what it does for people. Well, if you're so smart, why don't you tell me? <laughs> okay, uh, the community chest is an agency that helps out the Boy Scouts, the Girl Scouts, the Salvation Army, the YMCA, the YWCA, the USO, local hospital clinics, and uh, orphan homes, and, and other worthwhile institutions. You satisfied? Am I? God, Joey, you're smart. I'll let you know just how smart I am after the history exam today. <laughs> you better get going, Fury. Miss Miller will be here any minute. <laughs> Don't forget to pick me up this afternoon. Now, before we get started on our work, there's something I want to talk about that's of great importance to all of us. As you know, our annual community chess drive starts next week. It's our civic duty to contribute and to get others to do the same. I want to be proud of you and your efforts to help this great cause, both individually and as a class. Joey Newton. Yes, ma'am? I understand your dad's been appointed chairman of the community chess committee. Yes, ma'am. Well, in that case, let's keep it in the family. If the rest of the class agrees, I think we should appoint Joey to select a committee which will organize the boys and girls in this valley to raise funds for the community chest. What do you think, children? Yeah! yeah. 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 Hey, Joey! All right, Joey, if you like, you may select your committee now. Yes, ma'am. Joey! 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 Joey. Joey. Mabel Anderson and... Joey! Joey! And Kenny Joey. West. I think one more should be enough to uh, serve on your committee, Joey. Joey! Joey, choose me! Joey! Joey! 
All right, Pee Wee Jenkins. I thought I'd never make it. The three chosen will remain after school. Joey, you and your committee shouldn't lose any time in making your plans. We won't, Miss Miller. Good. Well, now let's get on with the history examination. So we're going to do a real good job in this community, Jeff. <laughs> make the grown-ups proud of us. <laughs> Wait up, Fury. We got important business to take care of. What do I do, Chief? Mabel, I want you to be my secretary. Gee, that's well, Joey. What does the secretary do? What does she do? Well, uh, well, take down the names and addresses of all the kids in school. That'll do for a starter. What do I do, Chief? And Kenny, I want you to be my assistant chairman. I can't be on your committee, Joey. You can't? Why'd you say so when I picked you? I didn't want to tell you in front of Miss Miller. But why can't you be on my committee? I just can't, that's all. But the community chess is a wonderful cause. It helps a lot of people. I've got other things to do. Like going fishing and hunting, and things you feel like doing. You're just a mean old selfish goon, Kenny Weston. So what if I am? That's my business. Good riddance. What are you going to do now? Get somebody else, I guess. Sure was counting on them, though. How about Esmeralda Smith? She'd be swell. Besides, she's my best girlfriend. Ah, uh, she giggles all the time. She does not. She does so. She does not. Oh, yes, she does. She does not. Hi, Kenny. What do you want? I came to find out why you won't be on my committee. Why you really won't. Look, I told you, I got other things to do. Hi, Joey. Hi, Mr. Weston. What brings you around here this time of the day? Well, I asked Kenny to be on my junior committee for community chest. He said he had other things to do. Well, he said right. He's got enough to do without wasting time asking people for charity. The way I see it, charity begins at home. But the community chest isn't charity. Call it anything you want. You get yourself a kid that can afford the time to go around asking folks to give their hard-earned money away. Like Kenny told you, he's got other things to do. But Mr. Weston. You heard me, Joey. Yeah, I heard you. But I still say you're wrong about the community chest. Well, don't just stand there. I told you to sweep the porch, and after that, you better see to feeding the chickens. Yes, sir. I'll get supper started. You're not supposed to go from house to house asking for money. Yeah, I know you meant well, but, but that's not the way it's done. Look, as long as I'm chairman of the junior community chess, you'll take orders from me. All right, we'll discuss it at the meeting tomorrow. Well, hi, Jim. Hi, what's this about your being chairman of the junior community chess? Yeah, I was appointed this morning. Well, that's fine. I'm proud of you. Yeah, but it's not so easy with an eager beaver like Pee Wee on the committee. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's been going from house to house asking people for money. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta give him credit for trying. Yeah, but going to the hobo jungle and trying to get them for some money, <laughs> that's a little too much. <laughs> well, the little fella's got nerve, even if he is shy, a little sense. <laughs> of course, he did collect almost $11. <laughs> now, if you two community chesters can spare half hour from your duties, I'll put supper on the table. Yeah, put it on. <laughs> well, Joey. Looks like the Newton family's got a big responsibility. I was hoping you'd tell me how you're doing it, so I could copy you. All right, we'll talk it over after dinner. Who else is on your committee besides Pee Wee the Fireball? Well, there's Mabel Anderson and Kenny Weston, almost. Kenny's a good man. What do you say, almost? Well, he said he had other things to do. Doesn't sound like Kenny. I know it doesn't. 
That's why I went to his house to ask his father if, if maybe he couldn't talk Kenny into it. Well, I'm sure Matt would want him to help. That's where you're wrong. He said Kenny had more important things to do around the ranch than to waste his time begging people for their hard-earned money. Well, I'm surprised he feels that way. As a matter of fact, I was gonna ask him to be on my committee. Now I'll have to find somebody else. Are you two going to sit down to supper? Or are you holding the committee meeting all by yourselves? <laughs> we'll talk about that in a minute, Joey. Thanks, Jim. Yeah. I still don't see anything wrong in asking Jimmy Adams to give to the community chest. But Pee Wee, Jimmy Adams is only one and a half years old. What's age got to do with it? He's still got a piggy bank with 84 cents in it. How do you know how much he's got in it? I counted it when he broke it open with the hammer I gave him. Gosh, did he have fun. Where's the 84 cents? Now, wait a minute, Joey. You don't think you I... have... Uh, well, it was for a good cause, wasn't it? I'll give it back to little Jimmy's mother in the morning. Pee-wee, I like your spirit. But breaking kids' piggy banks open. Community chest doesn't want money that way. Okay. Oh, Joey, I told my mother that thing on your committee, and she was thrilled. And I've got lots of ideas. And he wrote the list of names and addresses you wanted. And I even had my big sister type them. She's a typist, you know. And I think we're going to have oodles of fun. What do you think? I think girls yap too much. Pee-wee Jenkins, how dare you? Ah, oh, shut up. Shut up! Come on, you guys, quit fighting. I want my team to get along. How do you get along with a girl? Once a child, always a child. Hey, Kenny, wait up. Bye, Pee-wee. What do you want? Did you change your mind about being on my committee? Did you? Nope. It's too bad. Look, there's lots of kids who'd be glad to be on your committee. Why pick on me? Because I think you're the best man for the job. Oh, leave me alone, will you? And many boys and girls will soon be able to walk again due to the medical care provided by the community chess. There are many other fine services that the community chest provides for the public. And I'm sure you all agree with me that we can consider ourselves privileged to be able to help such a worthy cause. And speaking of helping, Joey, is all your committee working hard? Well, I guess so. What do you mean you guess so? Well, I... Everybody's working but Kenny Weston. Kenny didn't want to be on it. He had too many other things to do. I'm certain Kenny must have a very good reason for not helping out, Mabel. Kenny! Oh. Doggone that Mabel Anderson. I told you girls you have too much. from school this time of day, son. I'm quitting school. I'm never going back. I don't want to hear that kind of talk out of you. Now, I don't know what happened, but you hightail it back there just as fast as your legs will carry you. I'm not going, Pa. I'm not going to have those kids thinking I'm a quitter. What are you talking about? You should know what I'm talking about. If it wasn't for you, I'd be on the community chess committee, doing my part like any other kid. And you're wrong about charity beginning at home. The community chess does things for people. It helps kids walk and helps them find happiness. It takes care of grown-ups, too. But you wouldn't know about things like that. Or even care. Get on back to school, Kenny. I'm not going, Pa. I'll never go back. Kenny, come back here. Thank you. 
Esmeralda Smith to take Kenny's place. Well, she's as good as anybody. I wonder where Kenny went when he ran out. I guess he went home. Home nothing. I bet he went fishing. How do you know? Because that's where I go. Oh, you. Get him to the broken wheel. First, we better make sure it's safe to move it. Yeah, that's what they told us in first aid. Well, he's bleeding. We have to take a chance. Fury! <laughs> kneel down, Fury. Pat boy, kneel down. Good boy. Come on, give me a hand, Fury. Easy, boy, Fury, easy. Get up, Fury. Now let's go, Fury, easy. Doc's been in there a long time, Jim. So Kenny's in good hands, Joey. He sure lost a lot of blood. Where is he? He's in Joey's room. Now you better wake the docks with him. I came over as soon as you called. What happened to Kenny? I don't know, Matt. He was unconscious when the boys brought him in. Hello, Matt. Doc, my boy, how is he? Fortunately, there's no fracture. Oh, thank goodness. But he needs a blood transfusion. What's your blood type? Well, type O, but Kenny's blood is... Yes, I know, a rare one. Has the hospital called? No, not yet. Then we'll have to wait. Doc, there must be something I can do. Well, you can thank the Almighty that you still have a son. Hello. Here, yeah, just a minute. It's the hospital, Doc. Dr. Adams, I've got a boy here who needs a transfusion. Type A, B, R, H, negative. He needs it badly. Well, uh... Do what you can to find some. It's urgent. Matt, your boy has the rarest type blood there is. Hospital resident doctor is trying to locate some of it. Suppose he doesn't. You better start praying for that phone to ring. located the type of blood that Kenny needs at General Clinic in New York. New York? Yes, the community chest is having flown in by jet.
Well, Kenny will be all right now. Thanks, Doc. Don't thank me. Thank the clinic that sent that blood. And the community chest that supports the clinic. I'll be glad to pay him for it. No, there's no charge, Matt. What can I do to show my thanks? Well, you could start by joining my committee. One of the fellows had to drop out. You got yourself a new member. It is my pleasure to announce that the local community fund has exceeded $50,000. which beats Capital City by 10,000. We went over the top because of the untiring efforts of a father and son team, Joey and Jim Newton. Thank you, Brad. And I just want to say that although Joey and I did work hard to put the fund over the top, there's a father and son team here that deserve a lot more credit than we do. Matt and Kenny Weston.